Don't be sad. Even though Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's trip to Africa and with Archie is over, Duchess Kate and Prince William's royal outing to Pakistan has just begun. And this time will be the Cambridge's most challenging overseas tour to date. When Princess Diana visited Pakistan in 1996, she wore a lovely light blue Catherine Walker dress, made of draped chiffon with buttons down the front and at the sleeves. Fast forward to Kate Milton and Prince William Royal Tour of Pakistan 23 years later, and Kate's outfit choice bears an uncanny resemblance. When the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge landed at Rawalpindi Noor Khan Air Base to begin their Royal Tour of Pakistan, William and Kate were met by Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and his wife as they embarked from the RAF Forager aircraft. The Duchess has shown off notable tour wardrobes in the past, and like her sister-in-law Meghan, she recycles outfits or wears pieces by designers from the places she's visiting. This ensemble, however, is by her go-to London-based designer, Catherine Walker. She completed her outfit, which came complete with a pair of pants, as did Diana's, that are tapered at the bottom like a traditional chaloir camise, which is typically worn by both men and women in the region. Kate's elegant electric blue design featured an ombre effect that definitely modernized it, and she finished the look with neutral Rupert Sanderson heels so as not to distract from the rest of her gorgeous outfit. Kate's affordable beaded earrings have a touch of turquoise, and thereby a Pakistan-based brand called Zine. Kate also followed suit with her purse, a metallic finished box clutch that retails for $29, also from Zine. As soon as she and her husband arrived, they were greeted by a few of locals and were given flowers as gifts. Before they returned to London, Kate and William are expected to spend five days in Pakistan and their communications secretary said their schedule will not only pay respect to the historical relationship between Britain and Pakistan, but will also largely focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today, a dynamic, aspirational, and forward-looking nation. Kate's trip to Pakistan comes just a few days after she visited the Natural History Museum in London, went to a ship-naming ceremony with her hubby, and then met the cast of Downtown Abbey. She was very graceful, funny, and interested, and adept. Actress Raquel Cassidy told about what it was like for her to meet the Duchess in person. You know how we've kind of lost the art of conversation. She absolutely had that. She was going to meet 20 groups of us, and she was going to have to show some kind of knowledge, some kind of interest. You know, something that here that the Queen can do, and she's obviously filling these shoes. Raquel's co-star Leslie Nickel also recalled the first encounter with a 37-year-old royal. It was great, she gushed. She came in very proper and royal, and then you realize within a few minutes she's actually a very big fan, and very interested in how it all worked, and she was very friendly and very sweet and we spent quite a lot of time with her. Although five-month-old Archie accompanied Harry and Meghan on their trip last month, William and Kate's children, Prince George, six, Princess Charlotte, four, and Prince Louis, one, did not tag along for these travels. During this tour, which was made at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, William and Kate will meet a wide variety of people, including children and young people, leaders from government, business, and the charity sector, aspiring conservationists, and well-known cultural figures and sporting stars. The couple's agenda include learning about education programs and organizations empowering young people. William and Kate's highly anticipated arrival marks their only engagement for the night, but the activities will pick up tomorrow with events in Islamabad. The couple's exact itinerary is embargoed every day due to security risks, which include tensions between Pakistan and India being extremely strained over Kashmir. While their schedules are usually outlined beforehand, tight security around the tour means that William and Kate's itinerary will be released day by day instead.